Central Asian craft, embroidery. Hujand is the second largest city in Tajikistan and it's home to a young woman named Munira Akilova. Munira practices traditional embroidery, but she doesn't just create beautiful works of art. She's doing something greater, reviving a traditional craft that is rooted in antiquity. She seeks out and studies the history of the craft, exploring the symbolism of color, pattern, and composition. She compares designs from different regions and shares her knowledge willingly with anyone interested in preserving Tajikistan's history. And, just as her ancestors once did, she teaches all who want to embroider. Munira herself began to professionally engage in embroidery quite unexpectedly. I had problems with my health and it was my embroidery, my needle that saved me. Creativity has an astounding effect on human health and I know that from experience. Art therapy is something that truly works. Suzani is one of the most important elements of Tajikistan's historical heritage. It's a hand-embroidered canvas, two by three meters in size, traditionally embroidered by mothers and grandmothers for a girl's dowry. It's believed that a Suzani is protection for a young family. When we look at traditional Suzani, they're so bright, so colorful. People use the colors that they might be missing in their lives. I have a feeling that things like mountains, landscapes, trees, people are used to these colors already. That's why they use such bright colors as a way to achieve a kind of balance. People reveal their inner world through color. A Suzani is more than just an embroidered canvas. It's a story, a wish, a message. Every flourish has a deeper meaning that can only be understood by a connoisseur. Each Suzani uses a gul, or a circle, which represents the sun. A pattern called kalan fur is often used, similar to paisley and sometimes called Turkish cucumbers. Kalan fur represents the beginning of all beginnings. This pattern can be found in European embroidery and in Iranian, Turkish and Indian embroidery too, thanks to the influence of the Silk Road. 